Hello, and welcome back to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Last time, we did Chogawa Racing! And between then and now, I did something even more amazing! I, we, I got a new Chocobo! Right, so, um, sorry, I'm just trying to find the correct beach. I think this one will work. We have the river chocobo, which means we can walk over shallow waters. Uh, I haven't actually done the green one yet, so I can do that one between episodes, because you need to wait a while between breeding uh, chocobos, which is a, yet another reason I think going the four chocobo method is better. Uh, less saves coming, less wait time, just all around better, but also much more expensive. Um, so I'm pretty sure the thing I'm looking for is over here. Uh, well, no, it should be further north from here. I I'm going the correct way, though, for sure. Remember, you cannot land on this crap in your airship. Uh, is it like right at the- it is! Behold, the first. Chocobo Cave! What is it? Over the course of many years, macro energy crystallizes into materia. It's a natural occurring materia. Quattro Magic! That's a really good one. Well, it should be. All of them are really- well, no, that's not strictly true. One of the Chocobo Cave items is not really that great. All the rest of them are amazing, though. Like Quattro Magic. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's pretty cool. What should I throw that on, though? Like, I don't really have good options <laughs> with the things that I have equipped it. I definitely need to rearrange my materia a bit, uh, but that's something I can worry about later. That is something I can worry about later. Now that I've done that, uh... I need to do some other stuff while I wait for my chocobos to recover, so we're gonna go do some other stuff. Um... You know, this is probably a quicker if I just meet with the airship, so... See you in a minute. And We're back! For our next stop, we are visiting... That ye old... That place of... Olden times. No, not the chocobo sage. We are visiting Bone Village. Because there's something specific I want to dig up here. Um, so, you know, we're going to do that. Hello! Uh, what? Uh, good treasure? Question mark? Not the lunar harp. To be sure. Uh, so. I have good... Because things like this are always in exact locations. Uh... Yeah, no. Just... No more staff. Can you... Uh... Done. Right here. Is where it should be. No kidding. I suppose I could have, you know, like, selected them, but to guarantee it? But no, it should be right here. The thing that I'm after. And if not, then I'll throw down some people. It's also possible it's a normal treasure, but that... Nope, nope, that's what I wanted. Receive key item, key to sector 5. Incidentally, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but some, but not all, missable materia, like a lot of summons, mostly, if you miss them, you can usually dig them up here. Not all materia is like that, though. For instance, I'm pretty sure you cannot dig up Neo Bahamut. On the other hand, I think you can dig up Phoenix, so, you know, it's a little, it's a little bit hit or miss as to what can and cannot be dug up. Uh, having said that, now that we have that, it's time for our next destination. A return 
You see, you see, I wasn't just talking out my ass when I was talking when I was saying return to times of yore, or whatever the hell I said, something to that effect. No, we're actually c going here. Uh, let's save first, though. Like so. That's funny, I dropped my key to this gate somewhere. Must be in the excavation tour. Oh, you don't say. Ha 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 ha! I have the key now! Welcome back to Midgar. Oh, hey, it's the church. Well, we. Oh my. Oh my. She... oh, that's... that's really sad. Okay! Next on this mystery tour... Um... wait, what? Oh, the waste block! I can't go up here anymore! Or was that in the next area? Oh, okay, it was totally in the next area. Next on this mystery tour... Did they? Hmm. Well, this is empty. Did I ever get that thing from the little kid? Soldier, what about them? Damn, if they're really from Soldier, they should be doing something about all this. Okay, I guess, I guess, I guess I already handled that. I wonder, is there anything new in this shop? No. No, there isn't. I mean, it's an item shop, so I don't know what I was really expecting, but... No, I wanted to sort of check here. I don't think there's even anyone home, so to speak, but... Nope. It's empty. I see Eris' mom still doesn't have a bedroom. Hmm. Anyway. Anyway! Now that that little side trip is taken care of, time for the actual meat of this adventure. Yeah, I'm surprised I'm not fighting any monsters. I'm not sure that's really a bad thing, but I'm surprised by it nonetheless. Oh! Okay, there you go. <laughs> Who's on top now? Steel. Um. The answer may have been you had you inflicted darkness on me. But no, I can totally one shot you. And it feels good. That AP doesn't, though. I don't really care about the experience. I do care about the AP. Anyway, no. Uh, we actually have a couple things we can do in Wall Street. So we're gonna go do them. Uh, things like the Wait. Who's in my party? There's a save point in here, right? This is another thing where you sort of want teeth in the party. Uh, so... I don't think she's strictly needed for this, but it's better to have her. Hmm, let me see that. <laughs> it should work now. Go on, try it out. What did you do? Don't get mad. You'll just get more wrinkles. Hey, something's coming out! Is it bullets that are coming out? Oh no, we got a thing. Premium heart. And then we try it again. And it tries to kill us again. Yeah, I wonder why it's broken. 
Hmm. Anyway, that thing we just got is something very special. Uh, okay. So, that attack power leaves something to be desired. But, there's stuff about this thing you aren't seeing. It has no growth. It has all slots, and they're all linked. It has very high attack power. Uh, in fact, I think probably the highest of any weapon I currently have. But, it doesn't say it does anything. It does do something. I'm, incidentally, I'm pretty sure this one gets stronger for, based on how full your limit gauge is. Either that, or it's based on, like, running away or something. Because I know Vincent has a weapon that's based on limit breaks, on the limit gauge. I don't remember if Tifa is like that as well, or if it does something else. In any case, what I'm getting, I'm getting to something very specific here. This is Tifa's ultimate weapon. Well, her best weapon. Her most powerful weapon, anyway. It's something of a misnomer to call it her ultimate weapon, since it's really not. It's literally not going to be her last weapon, and it's not going to be a weapon she's even going to use for most of the game, because I like material growth too much. Uh, having said all that, um, say I wonder. Hmm. Having said that, uh, we have one more thing to do here. We are going to talk to this asshole! Probably, yeah. I'll admit that I found it, but you may never be able to get another one like it again! Uh, I don't even know if I can afford this. Nope, I cannot. I'm not even close, man. I actually really want this. I don't really want to do the selling crap thing. You know, if I would just master an all material, I wouldn't have a problem. I could easily sell a single all for the amount of money I need. For this. Hmm. I don't really have enough either to make it that way. Didn't I sell this crap? I guess not all of it. I sold most of it, but not all. Uh, that is really not much. Okay. I hate to do it, but I think... Really? No. <laughs> I hate to do it, but I think I'm going to need to come back for this later. Um, I really do hate to do it, though. It would have been really useful. He, what he is selling is a an accessory. Um, I'll tell you now, because I don't know when the hell I'll get a chance to actually come back to pick it up. Uh, but what he's selling is an accessory, which increases your rate of success for stealing. Which, since stealing this game, I'm pretty sure is based on relative level, that accessory is really the only way to actually increase your steal odds. It is really, really helpful. Uh, especially coming up, because we're getting to the part of the game that has encounters, bosses. Like, that has some bosses, mostly optional bosses if we're being honest, but still, bosses that have really good steal targets. But it was just not meant to be. Oh well. Uh, having said that, I'll come back here at some point off screen probably when I can actually afford it. It might be a while because my money is. I'm also gonna be funneling a lot of money into Chocobo stuff. Um. Yeah. Having said all that. Uh. Hmm. Do I have anything else to do with this episode actually? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, not that. Uh, no, I don't really. So, I think I will probably leave off here. Next time, we will... Well, next time, first of all, I'll have the green chocobo. But also, I'll have some plot... I'll probably be doing some plot stuff. Because I don't have enough money or enough greens to do the next phase of racing. Which means I don't have the resources to do the next phase of Chocobo breeding. Uh, but still, I can go grab a thing with the green Chocobo. In any case, that'll be next time. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, and have a great day. Bye!